What's up guys and welcome to another video. We are in the French Riviera in Cannes to be precise and it is right bang in the middle of the film festival. I've never been here before. I have no idea what the film festival is about so I thought hey why don't I just fly over here from Ibiza and just come and have a look around and check it out. So come with me and explore what Cannes has to offer. Okay, first things first, let's put on a snazzy little outfit because, of course, we are in Cannes and there's a lot of very well-dressed people here. So, I'm starving, I haven't eaten anything yet. I don't know where anything is. So we're gonna take a walk down this promenade, which is filled with lovely beach restaurants. And we'll hopefully get ourselves a lovely meal. Sibas, well, Sibas. That is a good fish. Well done. Did you just catch that now? Uh, yeah, for you. Yeah. <laughs> so far, so good. Beautiful vibe. The food looks outrageous. Went for sea bass. Why not? Got some truffled mashed potatoes here, vegetables, and obviously the bread. We won't talk about the bread. This is the second round of bread. So, gonna enjoy. Tuck in. And then we'll go and see what else we saw after this. Ah, so that was a very pleasant lunch. Now the sun has come out. This is the main promenade, which is absolutely packed full of people. And I'd just like to add, even just having lunch there, I don't think I've ever seen so many famous people in one place. This definitely seems to be the place to be right now for the actors, actresses, and pretty much anyone who's got anything to do with the film industry. So, yeah, it's interesting. Over here we have something going on, I have absolutely no idea, some kind of a show. There's a lot of celebrities pulling up in their black cars. There's a crowd of people behind me just trying to catch a glimpse of some of the celebrities. Pretty interesting. There's a lot of security. I've never seen so many police in my life. So this is the view from the balcony, 180 degree view of Cannes and the surrounding area. It was absolutely stunning. I actually tried to get a hotel like a little bit further down in the mix. But the problem is, obviously I booked this trip very last minute and there was literally nothing available. All the hotels were fully booked, even the Airbnbs were much available. But this one is actually, it was good. It was available. It's got a huge ass balcony, which goes all the way around. And then inside, nice living area, kitchen, it's two bedroom, but obviously you only need one bedroom. And then here, very nice, not cheap. Right then the evening is upon us and it's time to head out. As you can imagine, there's quite a lot going on in the evenings here in Cannes, but a lot of the really cool stuff is kind of off limits. You have to either know someone or be someone. A lot of restaurants are hosting really private exclusive dinners and there's a lot of bars, rooftop bars, which again, you can only get access to if you have like, you know, the VIP bands. I don't have any at the moment. I'm just a normal guy and nobody knows I'm here. So that being said, we are going to a cool nightclub called Bowley. Bowley? Bowley, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna say I pronounced it right. It's literally a nine minute walk there in one of the marinas. That's supposed to be a really cool club. And Black Coffee's playing tonight, which is pff, ideal really. If you don't know who Black Coffee is, get to know. I'm sure a lot of you do know. And if you do know, go and see him in Ibiza. He's got a residency at High every Saturday evening. And I was there last Saturday and it was absolutely unbelievable. So go check him out if you're in Ibiza. Right, let's go. Good 
morning everybody. Feeling not so fresh, but not so bad at the same time. It was very good last night. Music was 10 out of 10. Venue, it was good, but I feel like there was just way too many people in there. It was very packed. There was a lot of people bumping into me and I didn't have my space to dance and shake my hips and move my body. But it was good though, it was good fun. I'm gonna walk around, try and see a couple bits which we actually haven't seen yet. And of course, starting off the day with a mighty, mighty breakfast. Yeah, it could be healthier, but I'm gonna go to the gym today. So, I'm gonna earn it. Ah, so after that delicious breakfast, it was actually healthy, you know. I was worried that it was gonna make me feel like crap, but I was like a healthy burger and potatoes. Now, we're going to scale this little hill with a beautiful old church on top of it. Looks nice. Might be interesting, might not be interesting. But hey, we're here, let's go check it out. <laughs> So we made it to the top. It wasn't actually that much of a challenging climb. It was only about 10 minutes and it definitely is worthwhile. You get pretty much a 360 degree view of Gantz. The church is also very churchy, very holy. Had to go inside and make a little prayer. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What we want to do today, because the weather's nice, the sun's out, we wanted to go to a beach club. Uh, we're literally spoiled for choice. It seems like back to back on the promenade, there's a abundance of restaurants and beach clubs. So today we're at Carlton Beach Club. Bit vibe. Right on the front line, next to the sea, we've got the pier. And we have a beautiful view behind us. Absolutely delightful. So then, let's go and see, should we check out how freezing it is, may as well, be rude not to. Can't come all the way here and not dip myself in French Riviera water. By the way, Thirst Shorts, the official.com, go check them out. Whoa. It's like an ice bag. Oh God. Oh, it's actually amazing. Extremely refreshing. Probably a little bit on the cold side, but it's nice, it's different. So far, my thoughts on Gans. I think it's very good. It's nice, it's a vibe, especially now, this time of the year. But I personally wouldn't stay here for too long. I would come maybe for like two nights, three nights max, walk around, you know, get a feel for the place. But I was looking at like things to do here in Cannes. There isn't a huge amount. I was looking at like TripAdvisor and all of the like most highly rated things were day trips outside of Cannes. Like going to different parts of the French Riviera, like Nice, Saint-Tropez, Monaco. So if you come here, I would do a little road trip and go to all of them. You may as well. They're all really cool in their own right. I've been to Saint-Tropez before. That's more of a party vibe. Monaco, of course, is just like the wealthiest place ever. There's actually the Grand Prix, which is happening this Sunday, which I've been invited to. I'm debating whether or not to go to that. And then Nice, I've actually never been to Nice before. So, lots on offer, really. It's a cool place. So it's gym time, it needs to be done. Can't be traveling around the world and not going to the gym. I am very much out of my routine at the moment, but I'm doing what I can to just get the sessions in. Uh, gym situation in Cairns, there's a couple. I mean, obviously they're nothing compared to Dubai, but they're, they're all right.
So if you guys are interested in local produce such as fish, flowers and all sorts, we have a market right in the middle of the town. Let's have a little look around, shall we? We're in the flower section right now. We've got a very decent selection of cheese over here for all the cheese fans, vegetables, lots of sausages and treats. So, I mean, I wouldn't really say this is like something amazing for the tourists. It literally is just a market. But if you are coming here and you want to buy some fresh food, then it's the place to come. So, as you can imagine, there's quite a lot of restaurants, beach clubs, etc., which are quite expensive, might be out of your budget. So this is a cool little place which I've found, which is not only nice and cheap and cheerful, but also does really healthy food. It's like a, it's called green sushi. Salmon, broccoli, mushroom, spinach, and rice. It's only like 12 euros or something, so if you're looking for somewhere cheaper and healthy, this is the spot. So that was a little taster of Cannes and what you can do there. Very vibrant place, particularly this time of the year. Would I recommend coming during the film festival? Well, it's up to you really and what you like. I mean, if you're obsessed with films and celebrities and like to be somewhere with a the buzz, then yeah, for sure. But you do have the disadvantage of paying a premium price for accommodation and there just really isn't as many options available. I mean, even if you plan in advance, I still think it'd be quite limited, but it's cool. But I think most people are probably better off just going later on in the summer when it's a little bit quieter. But I'm sure it'll still be busy. I will most likely be coming back next year. I would like to do it again properly, and like stay in one of the really vibey hotels and get myself to a couple of the VIP parties, which I'm sure I'll be able to do, but we'll see. And most definitely after that trip, doing the Grand Prix would be like the icing on the cake. So uh, it'll, be, it'll be a good one next year for sure. Now I'm gonna pack, head over to the airport to my next destination. I'm sure a lot of you guys can guess where it is. I did mention it on the previous video, so if you haven't seen that one, I recommend you watch it. But I'll be reunited with my Latvian squad once again. It's gonna be a very cool trip, lots of adventures. Bringing the Thailand vibes back. So uh, yeah, the next video you'll see from me will be when I'm there. So I'll see you in the next one.